just full enough. Yeah, I didn't put all of that. Alrighty. Well, we haven't dropped any frames yet, and I see us we coming up on the yet, and I... monitor here. So I'm going to assume we are live for the first time in a long time. I don't talk until you say what you're supposed to say. Oh, it's like that, eh? All right. Well, we won't keep them waiting any longer then. Welcome to Done Deal. Okay, now I can talk. Yes, now you can talk, Jeff. How long have been to do the show? Uh, a long time. Um, getting getting on to a month. Has it been that long already? Yeah. Uh -huh. Holy shit! Sorry, guys. Yeah. Well, in that case, I have a fuck ton of eight mail to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I got a month's worth of eight mail to talk about. But you would have to remind me because my memory is so poor. It's like so much has happened in four weeks. So. Yeah, uh, that baby's coming along good. No, I'm only kidding. Um, what? <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only kidding, guys. <laughs> I am only kidding. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Done Deal. Vapor Joe's Live, where we give you the uh, the uh, week's uh, deals and steals on uh, Vapor Joe's and Vapor Joe's Canada. Um, so, uh, now somebody puts in the room, Joe. The pimp, unlike the Pope, needs a ring. Oh, is that the ring? RDA ring? Yeah, that ring looks fucking hot. If it, you know, I was looking at that. Oh, they have a silver version? <laughs> I'm buying this. Oh, God. But what size, but what size do they come in? I have big fingers, so. Did you see that, Tiger? Yes, yes, I did. They're cool. I had seen the pictures of the earplugs before, and nobody was sure if they were real or not. They were talking about them and so excited, but it's like, no, it's just a Photoshop. But uh, apparently, they're out there and they're cool. No, um, Mark said that's a that's a gold one. They have them silver, like pure sterling silver, for only 150. That's the one I'd get. I wouldn't get the fucking gold one. You crazy? There's a raw silver that's even uh, uh, under. I think it's under 90 bucks. Yeah. Uh, just a different look in the silver. Kind of cool also. Right. So, um, again, everybody, welcome to Dundee. We have 86 in the room. Um, let's go over some vape now. I have a shit ton, I guess, because I haven't uh, done this in almost a month, so we'll go probably three weeks. Uh, but there's a few There's a few pieces I uh, wanted to go over that I got. Um, first, the juice. I have been vaping on this Oakwood Vapor. Now it kind of looks like something you'd get at a spa, doesn't it? It's like it's like you know, like it's all nice and white. It's like it's like the spa version of um, of, um, of of five points. And you know, you pop the top, and then the juice comes out. Uh, I picked this up at VCC uh, VCCTN, which is over a month ago, and then that goes to show you how long it's been, how long it takes me to get to a juice. And um, oh yeah, one's in the room if you can hear me. Oh, okay, good. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Jesus. cool. Thanks, guys. Um, this is called Cheer. This is a really tart cherry sweet tart. It is fantastic. And I'm vaping it on one of my pieces of vape mail. This is... Oh, wait. You know what? I need to get something. I will be... Sorry, Tiger. Just This is for demonstration purposes. I will be right back. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's only, it's only, it's two seconds from here. I can still, you guys can, I can still talk to you while I do this. I have oh, to leave. Hold on. Okay. Opening the door. Do you it. can hear the doors open. We're getting a tour of the, the new place right now, folks. You, you can't see it, but just be, close your eyes and imagine. You know what? I think I left it in the car. No, I can't, I'm not going out to the car. <laughs> Forget it. Oh, well, all right. A short tour. All right. Sorry about that. All right, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. All right, so um, basically, because I was I was looking, I was gonna get my real ZNA to show you the difference between this and the clone, but now we've all seen ZNA clones, but this one's a little more special uh, because this one is green, and I love green. Everybody knows that, but this particular one is a full 18650 version of the ZNA, 
and it's flush to the bottom because most of us know the real ZNAs when uh, they come 18650 size, I mean 18, 18500 size, uh, and you put the 18650 tube in, the 18650 tube hangs about that far. So these are flush, um, uh, flush to, to, to the bottom. They work great. I have a uh, mega tank on top, Kanger mega tank on here with a uh, just the tip drip tip. Uh, works great. Love it. And then, I also have a green Tatro. Now, everybody knows I love Tatro mods. This is the 50-watt box mod from Tatro. Uh, these are upgradable 65 watts. Um, and uh, I have one in black. I had to pick up the green. And I also got one from Miss Tiger Tiger in blue. Oh, it's so pretty. And it works. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it needed a little bit of TLC. But, yeah. Yeah. What happens with these sometimes, guys, uh, his buttons are fantastic on here. However, um, when he packs them, he packs them in foam. And that foam, through the entire trip, pushes up against the fire button. And even though you're not firing an Addy, that, that little lock symbol is on for the entire trip. And it kills the battery to the point where you cannot charge it. So basically what you have to do is you have to unscrew it, pop a new battery in it. It's a two-second fix, but um, these, are, these are really great mods. Um, and then I got some really cool wraps for my little uh, ice stick. <laughs> I got a little Vapor Joe one. Vapor Joe's. Um, what's his name? Uh, over at J Wraps, he, he hooked me up and uh, sent me one for Vapor Joe's, one for Vaping Underground. Nice, nice. And let's see, did I get anything else that I can grab around here? Nope. That's pretty much all I really wanted to talk about, uh, as far as as far as uh, as far as vape mail is concerned. Oh, and I bought an I uh, uh, an e grip oh. from uh, from uh, Vapor Beast. I can't wait to get this thing. We'll talk about that later. But so that's that's future yeah, vape. We're pretty excited about those. And I'm I'm done uh, as far as my vape mail. What about you? Oh, are you? Well, I can't honestly remember anything off the top of my head i've got some incoming but most of what's been showing up lately has been early christmas shopping so yeah oh really you're starving you're starting real early i'm i'm being i'm trying to be organized all right um uh, mark says he's waiting for the price to drop on the grip i don't think it's gonna it's a joy tech product joy tech doesn't do that uh joy tech price fixes uh basically you sell it for what joy tech tells you or they blacklist you and you're not allowed to buy yeah. Um, so at at sixty bucks after coupon, it's 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 a good deal because I've actually held one in my hand at BCCTN. Dimitri was using it. It's it's a cross between like an an eye stick and a and a billet box. It's a really really cool little little device. I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to get it. So we'll 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 talk about it more when I get it. And uh, so Tiger, what did you get? What, what did you what are you ordering for? What what are your early uh, Christmas gifts? <laughs> Well, right. you know, what if he's up listening? Oh, well, okay, I'll fill you in on a couple of them. I got him a nice okay. little rug for his room. I'm worried. I'm not even talking about your son. I'm talking about me. Oh, well, I'm not telling you. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. No, what'd you get your son? <laughs> I got him a nice little rug for his room because he's just got boring Berber carpet. And uh, it's uh, it's actually beautiful. It's the nicest rug we've ever owned. And uh, got little trains and planes and automobiles all the way around the outside. And then a uh, John Candy on that one, dude. No, 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 John Candy. Just the planes, trains, and automobiles. Um, and uh, and the cutest. Oh my God, cutest little stuffed dragon. So I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with the loot so far. Anyhow, get him a for Joe carpet. <laughs> get him a Joe carpet. No, but he does steal my hat every so often, and it's kind of cute to see him represent him. Uh, uh, evil Woman says, wholesale is twenty eight eighty. We know this, Evil Woman, but you know it's Joy Tech, and if you sell it for less than they tell you, you're going to get blacklisted. Right? But they're they're a very 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 nice mod. Okay, so let's talk about some deals. Let's do some deals, Tiger. Why don't you just start running along? Uh, all right, let me 
let me grab my first link. Now, you know, I've mentioned these before, but I'm, I want to make sure nobody misses out on this. So forgive me for bringing them up again, but I, I think they bear repeating because I've gotten a number of them in now and I was so impressed. I immediately ordered more colors. You know what? I got to buy these. I got to forget about I got them. some set aside for you, Joe. I'll, I'll send them. Um, Did you get me a green one? No, I didn't order anything. Well, I'm going to buy a green one. <laughs> okay, well, you just go wild. Uh, I've got uh, blue uh, and red uh, set aside for you. Okay, cool. Very cool. But green one just to match the green one. Of course. Because I have, course, I have a mini. Know. Is that a mini Nautilus? Or, yeah. See, yeah, I'm going to get the green tank for the green mini. I mean, for the green, uh, yeah, for, for the uh, green Tatra. Well, that's essentially what I've done here is I've done a completely blue eye stick. That's a, that's a Nautilus Mini on top and uh, got the blue tank for it. Just love it. It's, it's a great fit. So uh, can't say enough about them. I, I didn't bring the Aero Tank Mega to my desk here tonight. That's in the other room. But I put uh, red and blue tanks on my, on my Aero Tanks and they look just dynamite. Uh, Dogman 171, no, this is just the, the standard 30 watt. I don't, I don't go past uh, 30 watts usually. I'm on a mega tank. I mean, who's who's vaping a mega tank at 50 watts? <laughs> you know, I mean, that would be pretty insane. Is the turbo tank a good one, Joe? Yes, I have a turbo tank on my little pastor right here, and this thing, this bitch rocks. I love this little thing. That is the funniest little device. Well, in my head, it's, it's funny, <laughs> but... See, the power supply on that thing, I have it sitting up. I'm, I'm, for those of you who don't know, I'm in the middle of moving, so I have mods everywhere. Like, I have mods that are miles apart <laughs> right now. So I got 50 mods here, 50 mods there. It's great. Okay, so back to Tiger's deal. I think it's a great... I, I think it's great. Um, the replacement glass... It's cheap, and um, it's, it's and, uh, and from my experience with both, by the way, um, authentic and knockoff Aerotank Megas and Nautilus Minis. So I've tried it kind of on all of those combinations. I will tell you the fit is just great. Um, it's working for me on everything. I've got no leaks or issues or nothing wouldn't it, spread. It's it, just great. Does it fit like the glove? Uh, uh, okay, we we could say that. <laughs> <laughs> the only ones I haven't personally tried are for the full size Nautilus, but based on what I've seen from the others, I expect them to fit just as well. Oh, and I'm being very naughty tonight. I'm drinking um, uh, I'm drinking uh, root beer with, with with sugar in it. I'm I'm big big diet soda drinker, but for those of you who think I'm drinking beer, it's a Stewart's root beer. Um, this is the only soda I'll drink with sugar in it. Alrighty. Well, let's see. Uh, I've got another one for you. Let's bring up the picture. There we go. Uh, for those of you who are rebuilders, not so interested in the film vapes, check out the Dark Horse. Now, I didn't know a whole lot about this Addy when it was first available. I've since like gotten a little familiar and I'm kind of impressed with what they've done here. Um, you've got the uh, big square um, posts and, you know, it, it makes it a little easier to drill those massive holes you're seeing. That will accommodate pretty much any kind of way you want to build this puppy out, you can do because you can fit an awful lot in there. You want to twist wires, you want to fool around wrapping wires, it's going to work for you. Uh, that the gold plated center post you're seeing there for excellent con continuity and um, you know for those who are still a little concerned with brass and copper inside there that is neither that is gold plating uh, this oh, one's all one. stainless steel and uh, not shown in this picture but shown in the link that I've given you there uh, it shows that it's got the other top piece for it too. You'll see that little bit of uh, the, the POM plastic right here. Um, that's kind of an, it, it acts as an insulator, but it also allows you to use a 510 drip tip with this. They have the other cap as well, or other top, I'm not really sure what you'd want to call it, 
that uh, is just that size cylinder coming straight up. So, so you get both options with this one. You can use uh, the 510 drip tip that's included. You can use one that you prefer that's already in your collection, or you can use the full straight palm chimney. I kind of like the, uh, I like the, instead of them making the logo black, they do, it's more of a frosted logo, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it looks really classy. And this one's all stainless steel. We've seen a number of them with, uh, you know, uh, accent colors. This one is stainless steel throughout. So, uh, and the airflow, for those not familiar with it, is kind of cool. Uh, you've got the two-part cap uh, that, that lets you line up holes. Well, the outside has three um, uh, again, the other pictures show it as well. Uh, three little elongated slots up and down on each side of the cap. They line up with either a wide open hole, so you can open one, two, or three of them, or a slotted hole that essentially divides them in half and gives you, if you use all three air holes, you actually have six small air holes. And, you know, I'm thinking of all the possibilities for turbulence under the cap, and we know that creates flavor, and it's like, wow, you know. There's a lot built in here, and a lot of ways you can customize your vape using that airflow. So, anyway, I think it's a really, really interesting one. And uh, 1033 after coupon. Use the coupon. Yeah, and that's over at Focal e mm -hmm. Very cool. All right, let me see what I'm going to throw at everybody. I have to make it Canada friendly now, so I'm looking. <laughs> Well, you know, we do have American viewers. It's it's good, you know, to let them in on something that's going to benefit them too. But we, we do try to more house. Vapor Joe's doesn't ship. We're simply um, uh, deals hunters. That's what we do. We find deals all over the place in the vape community, and we tell you about all of them. So every one of our deals will take you to the vendor that has that deal. Right. Okay, I think I found one. Wow, I can't believe how many deals I'm running that aren't uh, Canada, Canada, Canada friendly. friendly. Canada? Okay. Canadian? Canadia. Canadian. I, I, I heard it. I heard it come. Oh, you know how many times I've done this? <laughs> I've said Canadia so many times, it should just be called Canadian. <laughs> okay, so this is called uh, the Little Boy RDA. Now, um, if you look at it, it's got like a, uh, it looks like a, like a, like a, it reminds me of like a South Park character with a gas mask on. That's the logo on this, on this, on this thing. Now, this is a very basic RDA, but it comes again, it's a little bit like what Tiger's uh, RDA was like. Uh, it comes with the Delrin uh, top piece, which is X insulator. It's got big fat, uh, big fat posts, big fat center screws, big fat holes. Uh, it's got a slotted um, airflow, much like the, I would say, I'd call it much like um, the Quasar. Okay. Would you agree, Tiger? Um, I haven't seen the airflow on this one. You're, you're educating me right now, too, Joe. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought you were, maybe would have been there. Um, uh, it, 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 it has the same kind of uh, slotted airflow like the Quasar. You kind of turn it, and there are slots on the deck, slots on the outside. So you could give this puppy a huge amount of airflow or a very small amount of airflow. Uh, for those of you who want to, you know, be able to uh, take those competition direct lung inhales, this would be perfect for that. Uh, $10.19 over at Bessic. Um, they have two different versions. Uh, one, from what I, what I can see, they are both basically look the same. One comes with like a gift box uh, and some extra doodads. And one, no, one is basically coming with the gift box and you're gonna pay about a dollar about a dollar more if you want the nice gift box. The other one, I think, probably comes in a regular little white box. But uh, I think uh, basically both are exactly the same. Um, so if you're looking for a nice basic RDA with lots and lots of airflow, uh, and it's uh, super, super. Oh, and another good thing about this is the side posts are actually part of um, the deck, meaning it, it's not like the deck and then post, post, post. The, the, the two the two side posts are actually I guess you would say forged into the deck and the only one that's and that's only the, the only one that's separate is the center post so that gives a little bit more stability yeah no concerns about those um, posts twisting or anything like that yeah exactly Marin milled with the deck 
That's it. Thank you for that. Sounds so much more professional. It's milled with the deck. There you go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so get over there, check it out if you like it. I mean, I, I like I like the little logo guy on this. I mean, just, I'm telling you, it looks like like Kenny from from South Park with a guest. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I, I'm trying to think of a way to segue, and there's just no way. So I'm just yeah, gonna gonna bail and do it this way. Next Go for up. it, lady. Next up, um, one of the nicest stands I've seen. Uh, this one really caught my eye. They came out with a few acrylic stands and I looked them over and I just, you know, they were higher in price and it was kind of like, I just couldn't get excited about any of them because as far as I was concerned, it was the wrong combination of holes. It was kind of like, you need to talk to a vapor who knows what they want on their desk and build that, not what you yeah. think we want. And I think they got a lot closer with this one. This one I was impressed with. You've got lots of space for just, you know, uh, straight tube mechanicals. They've built in some holes with the little extra divot cut out uh, that'll let you get a bottom uh, side button in like like say a GGTS style. Um, there's space for your juice, there's space for your drip tips, there's a big open chain, uh, area on the right uh, for you to line up your box mods in. It's, it's well thought out and it looks really good. I like the black and gold, very classic. So. Does it come with the? You know what I want to buy? I want to want to. I want to buy one of those goddamn Fast Tech logo things. You know what they put on everything? Like they have it on top of that. Um, that oh. That like I just want one, and I'm just every time I take a picture, I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna put the Fast Tech thing next to it. <laughs> you lost me, <laughs> but yeah, okay, I get it. Very nice. <laughs> Ching Chang wants to know: Are we boyfriend and girlfriend? Yes, we are. <laughs> She's my lady and I'm her man. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, Mark, the, uh, or Mark Kaza, I'm not sure. Does the middle spin or is it just gold? No, it is just accent, but it is a raised layer to kind of give you a spot to settle uh, things into, like juice bottles juice, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, oh, and spot for your atomizers as well. I missed that when I was originally telling you. Yeah, this, this is going to sound bad, but it has a lot of holes. 79. 79 holes to be, yeah. to be exact. So th basically what this is going to do um, is uh, let the average vapor hold all their mods, most of their atomizers, some of their juice. Uh, the average vapor. Me, I probably need about five of these. But the average vapor, well, it should work good. And if you look at the little tiny holes on the, on the side, uh, really good for if you have uh, long drip tips. <clears throat> and welcome to the room, Tony. He's had a oh special greeting for it's, you. It's Tony. <laughs> What's up, Tony? What's up, uh, uh, Tesla? Tesla movie. <laughs> and Mooch, welcome. <laughs> Want to know if the TBA show is still your man crush, Joe? Yeah, of course it is. Well, no, no. <laughs> See, no, it's kind of hard. It, it's, uh, oh, that sounded terrible. It's kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> is it your man crush? No, no, no. It's kind of hard because <laughs> Clickbang. Yes, uh, it's, it's between you. It's between. It's between you and Clickbang. I have to oh. say. Maybe I'll have a menage a trois. I don't know, but. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll have a three-way. No problem. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. So yeah, so get over there, check out this uh, mod stand. I think it's um, and you, and you have to you have to give China credit. They're, they're they're manufacturing really nice mod stands now. Even the ones that came up before this one, they're start just getting better and better and better and better. Uh, and um, you know, it's only going to get better from here. And it is good price. I mean, this if this is an American mod stand, you're you're looking at a hundred bucks easy. You know, now of course it wouldn't be made of acrylic. Probably, you know, it might, might have a little bit harder harder. Uh, uh, materials, but it, it functions great. And don't forget, for those of you with brick and mortars, these are great to display you your stuff. Like them. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, don't diss the acrylic. You're looking at something that's really easy to clean and clean thoroughly. Right, right. No, I, I agree 100%. Oh. 
All right. Well, I've got a few big ticket items. This is the first of them tonight, and I usually don't have that much, uh, you know, on the higher end, but it all bears talking about. I wanted you guys to know about this stuff. So a little bit of the show is sort of almost dedicated to those of you who are looking for a next device and just aren't sure what it is. I'm going to show you a bunch of ideas. Um, but but stay tuned because there's some other other deals as well that are that are not in the the large ticket range. Let's uh, let's uh, bring up a link. Here's one and change the photo. I want to introduce you to the Smoke X Pro BT50 Bluetooth connected 50 watt box mod. Yeah, you know, can you talk to me about this? Because I saw Bluetooth. I'm like, am I going to be able to play like my iPod through this? Like. No, no, it's not a speaker. What it allows you to do is control your vape via your Bluetooth connected device. Uh, and there's things you can do using the XPro software that, or application, I guess, more appropriately, um, that you can't do on the interface on the mod. You can customize uh, the way your vape's gonna look like power-wise and stuff like this. Now, I don't totally understand it all yet. But I, I think what they're getting at is a little bit about what the EVIC uh, sort of started to step into where you could customize your vape where it hit it harder at the beginning and then backed off a little bit to, to heat that coil faster and so forth. I think that's what they're talking about. In any case, there's a bunch of bells and whistles uh, attached to that app uh, that give you a bunch more control. So it's kind right. of interesting. Uh, you got 50 watts in there, and uh, uh, definitely intriguing. Definitely intriguing. And uh, we've seen this uh, closer to 115 and higher. So uh, introducing it at 95 dollars. Mm -hmm. Snap them up. If, if and don't forget, your... this would be this would also be Smoke's uh, Smoke Tech's uh, biggest wattage device, I believe. I believe Smoke I Tech think, is, has, I never, think you're right. has never. I don't think they've broken 50. Right, and it's their own design too. Now it looks like they're using kind of using a Hannah style box mod, but they're kind of not because the buttons are far bigger. Um, I think it just kind of looks Hannah esque because of the uh, the drip well up top. I think that's where it ends. Eva nailed it in chat. There is an app for that. <laughs> uh, he said, "All right, baby Chevy Joe, smoke BEC Pro. What's the BEC Pro?" Take a look. Thank you, Chevy. Yeah. Oh, there's a. This is. Oh, well, it's still 50. Uh, well, that's a 50 water. Oh, okay. Bill, so this is a new goodbye. form for their 50 watts. Okay. <laughs> ew, 50. Ew, tube mod. Ew. <laughs> tube, tube mods are so like last year. Oh, well, okay, Mark is saying the BEC Pro has overheat issues. Maybe that's why they've gone to this design then, Mark, uh, because that's one of the things that was listed in the descriptions is how there's a, a lot of overheat protection built into this one. So, you know, maybe that's something they addressed in a different form factor. Ooh. Now, Tiger, what is your next big ticket item? Because I don't want to step on your deal. Um. <laughs> I think you're about to. <laughs> do, do what you do, Joe. No, that's not it. No, 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 no. Just, just don't do it. I just don't want. I want to because there was a ton of big ticket ones that came out. So I don't know which ones you, which one you were bringing out. So, just, uh, just, just go with it, girl. Just keep going. Yeah, keep going. I, well, the, uh, the first one, I think we're probably headed in the same direction, but I wasn't headed there just yet. Um, this was the next one. I wanted to talk about this one, because this one kind of just came out of nowhere. It's like, uh, I've never even heard of this. Well, what is this? Well, hello, look at that. And uh, there was some kind of, oh, and Big Bam. <laughs> oh, you are uh, pretty, pretty on top of things. You read my mind again tonight, eh? Um, what, what are you sorry for? You totally read my mind. I didn't even see your link till I had mine pasted in. Um, yeah, this is the uh, N6. Okay, now this is a 7 to 60 watt box, so a little bit more than the last one. Now here's what I like about this. It's kind of simple, and this is what I've said about a few of the box mods from the beginning. Yeah, it's nice to be able to charge by USB if you don't have batteries in a charger. 
I have batteries in a charger. I just want to drop that sucker out, put a fresh one in and keep going. You know what I mean? So, you know, I was wondering if there was a way to please both worlds. Well, this isn't going to please both worlds because you can't charge by USB, but you sure can drop your battery quick. Uh, it's got a coin slotted uh, door that, that uh, screws out and you just replace the 18650 in there and keep going. So... Is that a rhinoceros on the top, on the bottom? It is a rhinoceros. Yeah. I kind of like the button on the side. It looks different than any other the buttons I've seen. Well, there's something else that's different about that button, and this picture here shows it. It's just a little hard to see. If you notice right here where I'm directing your attention, that button placement is lower on the box than we're used to seeing. And, you know, at first I was like, oh, they put the button in the wrong place. And then I'm like, no, 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 no. Maybe they didn't. Maybe this is just something different. Um, you know, like there are people who may not want to fire with the thumb this way. You can fire with your pinky this way, right? And well, it's, you can just go, you could just, just go like that. Just it against your hand. Exactly. Um, there's lots of other ways to skin a cat, so to speak. So um, for those of you who caught yourself thinking, I wish the button was lower. There you go. They were thinking of you. Exactly. Yeah. And I, again, you know, seven, seven to 60 watts, uh, you know, a really nice, attractive looking box mod. Uh, chipset I'm, I, I haven't seen before, but all these new chipsets are coming out. I mean, let's face it, the iStick was a, was a new chipset, technically speaking, and uh, it works fabulously. So China's just getting way more accurate when it comes to their, uh, to their wattage. Fantastic. And it's a win-win for everybody because of that. Alrighty. So what you so the next so the, so the next one I have is I'm I, I'm I'm just writing it. I'm just putting it up because I need I want Tiger to put this picture on the screen. Okay, uh -oh. so <laughs> so here is the here's the uh, deal. I have no idea what this is. Oh but, no, you did so not. I need <laughs> and now this was now this is over this was over at Vapor Beast. Um, and uh, yeah, we need Tiger to put this on the screen immediately. <laughs> You're amazing. Now this is actually a vaping. This is, you don't vape this. This is um, just you'll see. Just waiting for Tiger to put. It on oh, screen. it's coming. No pun intended. Oh, Joe. I just don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm not lying, man. This thing is real. This is fucking real. Yeah. Over now, these are... And oddly, you want to laugh? They're sold out. <laughs> okay? They're sold out. Think about that. I, we don't know how much stock they had, but we had to assume they were reasonably well stocked, they had, like, and they are now sold out. So you probably know a vapor. Who knows a vapor? Who has one of these? Load your PV as usual, and when you exhale, blow the vapor through your monkey O like a trumpet. And it makes vaporings for you. <laughs> For people like me who can't do them themselves. Now, if you go to the website, they have an even better picture. It's on its side. Oh, it looks terrible. Oh, my God. It's the orange one. And it, it's just, it's absolutely the most funniest thing I have ever seen. Now, I'll be honest with you. I put this on my site. Uh, if you go to Vapor Joe's right now, I have a post that, like, it keeps track of the most popular posts in the last 30 days. This one's smack dab in the middle, like... Like, this post beat out the zero, which is the zero <laughs> replicant. I mean, it's fucking hilarious. Oh, dear. It beat the eye stick. Okay, so this is how interested people were in this. But I thought that was really funny. Over at Vapor Beast, um, you check out Vapor Beast, by the way. They do ship to Canada. Really, really... Gr oh, no, it's not. Shit, they don't ship to Canada. But anyway... Uh, I just wanted to put this out there. This is actually real. This actually debuted at ECC. People were having uh, a lot of fun with these, no pun intended, and uh, it's meant for vapors, so go with it, guys. <laughs> okay, Tiger, on to your next deal. <laughs> oh, I can take that off screen now? Yes, you can. All right. You know, if somebody just walked into right now and like, what am I watching? Yeah, I know. This has been on my mind for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, moving right along. It seems appropriate to talk about head after that. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, oh, Jesus. Or at least replacement heads, you pervert. Tiger, I think I almost got a chubby from that one. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, these are the BVVs, the bottom vertical dual coil that made the mini Nautilus uh, so well loved so quickly. Um, so you can get them for a buck sixty-three each, but I'd say go for the five pack. It's a whole lot cheaper. Is is the? I'll be honest with you. Is the mini a BVD or BBC? Because if this is a BVD, this would be a dual coil version of the vertical. Which, yeah, see, there it is. That's right. So this is actually a dual coil version of the re original Nautilus. Uh, mini head. Well, wait, 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 wait. Let's let's just make sure because now you got me nervous because I'm like, did I just like screw it up in the translation? I want to make sure I, I actually t no. They are calling no, absolutely a BVD uh, from the source. So let's just delve a little deeper because now you've got me all confused. Okay. Well, they are they are calling it a BVD for Nautilus. Now, um, just talk to somebody wants to know. Wait one second here. Okay, no, no, no. Hang on, hang on. This is important. Uh, it turns out that I did copy the information correctly, but the information says incorrect um in the comments i'm seeing a comment from a member saying uh the the ones listed as bvd coils it says bvc right on them in the picture so i suspect it's a typo okay so okay, well, my uh, apologies i really thought this was something else all right well uh great price let me tell you something still, i love yeah. My, yeah i love my nautilus mini um these coils are fantastic. Oddly, these are old tech. Um, vertical comes started with cartomizers, and then when we then they had a they had a horizontal coil cartomizer, and um, uh, that went crazy. Then everything started going going uh, went horizontal, and uh, you know honestly, I think for the mini, the vertical works way better. I think the mini is outperforms. See, I have a uh, I have a full size here, and here's the mini. Uh, I like the mini way better than I do the original Nautilus. Yeah, me too. And of course, the mini on the iStick stick is the best combination. Oh, they just—it's like they're made for each other. And the price now—you're looking at five dollars and ninety-four cents for five heads. Uh, I I knew a guy. And he gave me five for ten bucks. Okay, so uh, it's a it's a really good price. Uh, and these heads last a long time. I've only changed my Nautilus head one time, uh, and I've had it for weeks. So these heads would easily last you a month. I think I just put number three in mine, and I've been vaping it quite a while. So, and that was that was yesterday. I changed that up. Yeah, so get over there if you have your uh, mini Nautilus. Now these, now these will work in a normal Nautilus, right? Large Nautilus. Oh, to to the best of my knowledge, absolutely. Yeah. Honestly, I gotta put one of these in in the big Nautilus and see how it works. Thanks, Big Bam. So do I. I the the glass tanks just the colors just add so much and like i say you should see the colors on the on the aero tank megas too Ooh, that looks really good all right uh, joe where did you get your uh the xena i got it at, uh vapor tech usa that's the one who sold the color ones i think it was like 60 bucks all right next up this is the one i fear you were going to mention joe i'll show you okay. Is it religious sounding? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's a god mod. It is. 
180 watts. So for those of you that uh, just, you know, 100 isn't enough and 50 is a joke, all right, go wild. Um, it's actually in two ranges. Now let me see if I'll get this right. It's, uh, the first range goes up to 80 watts, I believe, if I got that right. It's right, like 79, 80, 81 in there. And the, uh, the higher range is 81 to 180 watts. So you're running it in a different mode uh, for those to, to get that power out of this pack. But it, it operates on three 18650s and uh, now available under 100 bucks, which is the cheapest I've, well, no, it's not the cheapest we've seen so far, but uh, this has the best color selection, the full color selection is available. And I think it's the actual cheapest I've seen. I don't think uh, I've ever seen it under, uh, uh, at least from my knowledge, I haven't seen it any. Uh... Okay, well, I gotta, I gotta double check, because I, I thought I had seen one, but they didn't have much in the way of color selection. It was just uh, take what we got. So, yeah, oh, there we go. Big M got it. Normal is five to eighty. Super eighty-one to 80, one eighty. Thanks, Big M. Sorry, Joe. Uh, no problem. Uh, no, I think I, actually I, I do think it's cheapest. And also, some people were kind of uh, uh, didn't like the cross on it, so they moved it over to the Wolf, but they're still calling it the God one eighty. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, but uh, either way, I didn't mind uh, either design. Uh, but I think uh, this is the biggest bang for your buck. You're looking at uh, almost almost 50 cents a watt at this one. And I don't think anybody's going to be going over 180 watts. <laughs> I can't imagine it. I, uh, but I'm almost hesitant to say it because that's what we would have said about 50 watts probably a year ago. Yeah. Um, there, you know... Uh, a fog the average fog machine. Uh, now the one that um, the original, the person who originally vaped the fog machine was not Pibasardo. It was a guy who was vaping Alice and one uh, Alice and Vapeland juice called vaping at 400 watts, uh, which is a hilarious video. If you just 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 type vaping at 400 watts in, on YouTube, and it's just a great video. Uh, and uh, but the average smoke machine is 250 watts. So, uh, fog machine rather. So it is. We're talking serious. That was Hell Giant. You're right. You're right. Hell Giant's um, video. Um, so uh, we're we're reaching a point where basically, um, it's. I don't know. I think I think people uh, vaping is going to start coming out of your ears soon and your ass. You're gonna you're gonna have so much vapor in your lungs. It's gonna try to escape from other orifices. <laughs> I just hope they get it on video. <laughs> you know, but uh, the, one of the one of the cheapest prices I've seen, 180 watts, very attractive design, takes three 1860s, yeah. uh, and uh, I think this thing looks great. Um, I have seen no problems with it whatsoever. So buy it. <laughs> I was just thinking, I, I've, I've got a buddy who's a new vapor that is just wild of a wolf loco on this. It's kind of like, you don't need 180 watts, but you do not need to spend that kind of money. Uh, so I, I'm, I think I'm going to try to talk him into an eye stick and a, on a wolf wrap instead. <laughs> but we'll see a how wolf it wrap. <laughs> Anywho. All right. Anywho. You're up, Joe. Um, okay, give me one second. I was going to do something. Sorry, I, I, I didn't was gonna bring another, I was going to bring up another high wattage mod, but I'm like, all right, listen. Damn. Because we've been, we've been, uh, here we go, this one. Uh, we're back, now we're going to go back into normal wattage. Um, and I'm going to put a link in the room. This is for the EHUGE, uh, has made a comeback. Um, now, I, my original EHUGE was, was a great mod, but it was a, it was a, it was a VAMO, it had VAMO guts. In it. You know, the regular old 15 pulse width modulation, blah, 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 blah. Um, and it was basically a VAMO encased inside of a, a lead pipe, basically. It took a 26650. Still a great device in terms of build quality and construction, but uh, power was kind of low. Now they bumped it up with, with, with an SX chip um, at, to 35 watts. It uses a 26650 and uh, it's only 40, hold on, I think it's, 
Yeah, it's it's. I'm sorry, it's fifty one dollars. Now, if you're into the big honking, and this thing is heavy, this thing weighs about two pounds. So even if your battery dies, you can completely rob a bank with this. <laughs> Not that we're suggesting you <laughs> No, I just said you could. <laughs> uh, but the... oh, sorry, you go ahead. No, no, go, 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 go. No, 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 I'll just under control. So if you like this design, if you had the original e huge, uh, I gave mine away to my business partner, and uh, she um, she still uses it. Uh, uh, but a very relevant mod, and you know, for the average vapor, um, shit, even for for not the average vapor, it has plenty of power. Again, uses a 2660 battery, and so you're gonna get some nice long battery life out of it, and uh, you can rob a bank with it. <laughs> the e mooch. I know. I was just dreaming that. <laughs> I like that. The e mooch makes lots of noise and has very little output. <laughs> so yeah, get over there, check it out. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure it'll be somebody's liking. Alrighty. Uh, sorry. So All what do you got? For this time? Just needed to make sure I had the right link for the right picture. All right, this isn't high wattage; it's wattage. Uh, we're talking about seven to thirty watts in these ones. Now you've all seen them before, the ELVTs, uh, the water resistant. Now we're not saying waterproof. You know, don't take this thing swimming in the pool. But if you are, and we are getting into that season in North America for snowmobiling or outside sports, or just, you know, if you're up where I am in the Pacific Northwest, you know you're going to get months of rain starting right about now. So it's kind of practical in all fairness, and uh, we'll protect it from bumps and stuff like that. So if you are on the trail or walking or doing what you do and it does fall, it's going to help. Big you know, reminds... Really, this thing again? <laughs> well, yeah, I think it's kind of cool and timely, like I say, for the reasons I mentioned. But hey. remember back in the remember back in the late '80s, early '90s, they came out with those shower radios. Yeah. And it kind of came on the soap on the rope thing, and you put it around your shower head. You could listen to the radio in the shower. I think what they did was they had a ton of those left over, but nobody was buying them, and they just repurposed the bodies for this. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I, I never got a good enough look at one of them, but maybe you're right. Uh, this one's available in uh, five colors. All, all image there. But. Yeah, yeah. Um, just a uh, really, really... I, I mean, they're big. These things aren't small. Yeah. These are very, very big devices. Oh my gosh, that is ingenious the version streams i had a buddy that designed a shower radio that was powered by the water from the shower head that's brilliant oh that's cool i hope that made it to market all righty well, I don't know. We we must have had a really short vape mail and news section today, Joe, because I'm just uh, queuing up my last deal. Really? Okay. <laughs> we, got, well. we got lots of time on our hands. But we're going to have to have you twerking by the time the show's getting to the end. Uh, we we want to keep we want to keep people here, okay? <laughs> All right. Well, let me let me let me let me queue this one up, okay? Okay. You can you can you can uh, finish right. it up. Uh, so I was talking about 26650s, and here's another variable wattage 26650 device called the Clouper T6. Now, it kind of looks like a normal box mod, but this box mod takes a 26650, which I really, really, really like. I love my 26650 batteries, um, and this one is uh, is no exception. Uh goes to 100 watts, uh, has a 15 amp uh, uh, output, um, and basically um, it's a monster box mod. Um, I'm, I, I wish there were more 26650 box mods. In fact, I would love to see a dual 26650 uh, regulated, not because they have plenty of 20, dual 26650 uh, mechanical box mods. 
Uh, but I would love to see a regulated dual 26 650. Uh, but again, this goes to uh, 100 watts. Now, who's Clauper? Clauper is the one who made the uh, DNA clone popular. They also make um, the the they call it the butt plug. <laughs> it's the black looking um, 50 uh, 50 watt uh, tube mod, which I have and really do like. They're like 70 bucks. And then they came out with this one, which is the uh, T6, which is a 100 watt version. And uh, for it's it's only 81 bucks. It's a pretty damn cheap price for 100 watts. Um, I think it's the cheapest 100 watt box mod on the market, to be honest with you. <laughs> and uh, again, fan, a big fan of uh, the 26 6 So if that house is a 26650 battery, you know you're going to be able to put one of the larger Addies on it because it's not going to hang off the edges, you know. If that larger size cell fits in there, then your atomizer will look proper on top too. Yeah, and uh, it, you know, I, I would love to see one in person though. Because of course, if you look at the picture, it looks like an 18650 box. It's got to be fatter though. It has to be. Definitely has got to have some growth to it. All right. All right. Well, um, the last thing I wanted to talk about, and I just can't believe the time. Like, wow. We must be windbags at the start of the show, usually. <laughs> well, we are. We usually have a ton of stuff to talk about. The only problem is uh, we had nothing to talk about because I haven't had a debate mail in, I don't know, last two weeks because of the move and um you know you're doing all kinds of stuff there so it's just been it's been a a, a vape mail list you know week for both of us and it's a, you know that usually takes up about a half an hour so <laughs> don't worry i'll find stuff don't you worry i'll find stuff to talk about <laughs> all right I, I oh i never fear for that never <laughs> um well, in any case, uh, the last deal I wanted to tell you guys about tonight was the Steamboat RDA. This is, uh, you know, some people are calling it the Tugboat version 2, um, but it is the Tugboat-esque Steamboat. Now, uh, it comes with the wide bore drip tip you see, the match drip tip, and the cap this time is a two-part cap. Now, I love that they made that change. Uh, the Tugboat was a nice, no-nonsense Addy to start with, but I love those two-part caps that let you adjust your airflow without the use of power tools. <laughs> this is great and probably has saved a lot of fingers. So uh, nicely designed, available in four finishes, uh, your matte stainless steel, your brushed uh, stainless steel, your polished stainless steel, and black. Nice. Very, very nice. Oh, and oh, uh, ships from the USA, so you're not waiting a whole pile of time. So that's a really great price coming out of USA. That's right, and it's a tugboat. Tugboat's good. It's a steamboat. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm, my bad. <laughs> it's a steamboat. Steamboat. All right. Was it's there the anything else you wanted to, to highlight or feature? or? Uh, yeah, I have, a, I have a few things. Okay, so, Sony VTC batteries, and they are going to ship to Canada, too. But these are the threes. These are the only ones you're going to be able to get at any given time. So, all right, let me explain something to you. It's been already been told time and time again. Sony has discontinued all VTC batteries. At some point, you will never be able to find them again. In fact, you probably can't find them uh, without being price gouged. All right, so what is the VTC3? It's a 30 amp battery, but it's 1600 miles. But this guy has them. This is uh, over at Vapor DNA. He ships to Canada. You get three for twenty-four ninety-nine. Considering that you cannot find these anywhere, it's a great deal because some people are selling one VTC five for um, for twenty-four ninety-nine. Okay, because that's hey, it's supply and demand. You can't get them anymore, you know. So you're going to get three. 30 amp Sony's for 20, uh, $24.99. Every order also includes a bottle of his Millennium Juice. Uh, you just throw it in the order, uh, the order uh, notes, tell them what flavor you want, and uh, you're, you're off to the races. Uh, Vapor DNA is a really, really great place. Uh, if you look around, he always has, here, he's like a, he's like a, what do I want to call this? Like I call him the Vape Rev Light. 
because pretty much everything Dave Rev gets, he gets. If you go over to like his uh, devices section, he's got some crazy mechanicals, crazy RDAs. He's got you know really really very very uh, like if I go to his uh, like h high end, you know he's got tons and tons of, of high end stuff. He's got tons and tons of high high end daddies. He gets uh, tons and tons of the new stuff. Sometimes he gets exclusive stuff. Again, this guy ships to Canada, so anybody who's you know who but wants uh, who doesn't want to wait. What's Even up? amongst all the high end stuff, he's got some little uh, little gems. If you dig around, there's there's always something that's at a surprise sort of price. Um, and I, I don't mean like he's he's doing this uh, as a surprise. I, I mean you know here and there you find stuff that's a really good buy and not like sort of high end typical high end pricing. Right, so right. Uh, definitely worth a look, even if you're not totally in the high end market. Right, and um, one thing I did feature, he also has, I don't know if they're back in stock. Oh, no, they're out of stock. I was talking about the Fat Baby, which is their Project Sub Ohm 100-watt uh, box lot, but that, that, that's already sold out. Um, but uh, Oh, yeah, share know. it, Gaffin. Now, if you go over there, uh, I have, there's a coupon code called Joe10. Now, not every mod or accessory or juice is allowed to use Joe10. However, if you're a big fan of the standard juice line, and I'm a huge fan of the standard, um, this is the cheapest place to buy the standard because you can use the coupon code, which brings a bottle standard down to about 19 bucks versus about 22. Joe, uh, breaking news. What? Um, we'll have to verify this, but it, uh, McFallick is telling us Sony is not discontinuing VTC fives, and in fact, they're increasing production. Fukushima hit, caused a factory shutdown. It took this long for the shortage to trickle to us. It's temporary. Sony has already opened a new factory in the Philippines and is back to around 100% production capacity, for or rather capability for VTC fives. Uh, I hope that's true. I absolutely hope that's true. Where did, uh, all right. Mac, where did you get that information? Do you have a link for it? I see clouds. No problem, and thanks for the feedback. Glad you're enjoying your prize. <laughs> We're both on the same show, so you can you can really you can. Huh? All right, thank you. You know what? I'm going to do a post on this. Because uh, I want to get it out there. All right, come on. Now we're going to slow. Now that link might just be for the batteries because Gaffin said he found a source for them. So that might just be that. That might quantity, be. quantity in stock, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a race. Who's going to get it? All right. Thank you. I'm going to have to look this up. Well, I know I'm going to look it up while we... Oh, some bad news, though. They also mentioned that Sony will be much stricter on their OEM suppliers to limit VTC5s getting into Vapor's hands. Well, good luck, because we all know where Illumination Supply is, so good luck with that. Yeah. I mean, really? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we process your order, do you vape? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is old news. This is all the way from April. No, this is from two months ago. That announcement that they discontinued uh, came out only like a few weeks ago. So I don't know. I, I don't know if, if that's good news. I don't know if that's legit news or not. Um, oh, here. Um... There's some people. Some people are claiming it's a fraud post in the in the comments. I don't know. I don't know if I can really count. I don't know if. Um, okay, here it is. Sony has discontinued uh, has discontinued the VTC line to consumers, but not industry. They're only selling it to car manufacturers wow. and laptop and laptop manufacturers. They won't be selling them in the form that we use as a battery. So, like for instance, a lot of these uh, car makers 
you know, like these hybrid car makers, you know, they'll they'll have a, a bank of a thousand of these batteries or something, you know, and they'll be pre-soldered, pre-connected, and then they go off to the car manufacturer. So they won't be given to us in the form that we know as a single, you know, green cell. So I think they're going to still be very, very scarce. So anyway, if you're looking for a good source for, for at least the 30, 30 amp Sony's, the link I put in the room today for DNA, check it out. Um, and uh, it's, it, is, it is a good buy for a good, reliable uh, battery for, uh, you know, for your high, uh, your, uh, well, your, your high wattage. Yeah, there's a few other things I can bring up. Okay. I'm going to bring up this post. And also, if anybody in the room has questions, just uh, yeah. fire away. Um, I put this post up, which was hilarious. Uh, this was the Vapor Joe's closing post. <laughs> <laughs> now, Vapor Joe's hit 42 million uh, last week, and um, I put this post up that just says Vapor Joe's is closing. Well. Every Vapor Joe hater in the world <laughs> was like, yeah, <laughs> and it was hilarious because the post itself, I mean, I, I always put up a post when we're, we're, we're closing and it always, it gets very, very low hits. The average Vapor Joe's post maybe gets four to 5,000 hits per post. The average Vapor Joe hit another million, we're closing for 24 hours, gets about five to 600 hits. This post? got almost 15,000 hits and it was hilarious and I love the people just laughing at you because you, you fell for it <laughs> yeah uh, yeah yes reddit had to cancel their balloon order you're absolutely right <laughs> oh that's that's priceless <laughs> <laughs> well Sean Chai we're glad to be back it's uh, been too long there's just been a, a number of challenges with uh, events and and folks being away and computer issues and I still haven't got the computer issues totally solved but nothing's melted or blown up so <laughs> so far so good Merrick there was actually a very big giveaway for the 10,000 members on VU Smokey was running it and there was a whole bunch of stuff we gave away Yep, sorry about that. But don't forget, uh, next week on Mod Envy, we're giving away a uh, Vapor Shark DNA 40. Uh, so something to look forward to. Cool. Uh oh, looks like Big Bam has something. A surprise for you. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> I don't know, I think the funniest one of them all is the pickle dancing. I've heard that rumor, Chevy, but I, I just, you know, there's a whole, I haven't had a chance to research it myself, and it seems like people are divided on that one. Chevy's saying if you still want VTC4s, the E-Fest Purple 30 amp rewraps, they right. are our rewraps of the VTC4s. I just hit up yours, baby. It's some at a remarkably cheap price. Now, here's a, here's, here's a, I mean, since we're out of the, the, I guess, international mode right now, because, you know, we have some time to talk about things. Yeah. Uh, there was one deal I wanted to, is this from, um, from Angel Six? It's called the Emma. Now, I am not into tube mods anymore. I, I, I'm kind of bored of them, you know. But this mod is hot. Emma is good looking. Well, I got to say. Um, if you go over there and, I have a single picture, but if you go over there and you check this mod out, it's a really, really pretty mod for 24 bucks. This is really, really pretty. I love how they kind of, uh, you know, the, the mixed look. It's not just a like stupid mix. They kind of add some silver onto the tube with the copper. The, the, the locking ring is absolutely gorgeous on this. And the design itself is just beautiful. And for 24 bucks, I, I can't. It's just great. It's just, it's, a, it's almost like a collector's piece. You know what I mean? Something you probably wouldn't vape, you just want to kind of look at it. Mm -hmm. 
comes in a nice wooden box. It's, it's really, really nice. And you guys are bringing up um, Samsung 25Rs. I had a good deal on this. Um, let, me, let me see if I can find oh, it. Yeah, that wasn't very long ago. Um, where are you, Samsung 25 oh, Here we go. I don't know, they still in stock, but I don't want to check. Yeah, this guy sold... <laughs> yeah, these are... Yeah, there it is. Uh, this guy on eBay sold uh, 609 pairs of these already. So he's blowing these, uh, blowing these out of the water. So Tiger, I'm sure you have um, more deals. You know, you got to remember we haven't done done deal in a month. So if you want to go back and, and do well, your page, let me, uh, let me go back and see if there's anything that. Uh... You know what we haven't talked about in a little while? Drip tips. You got any sexy drip tips you haven't, you've haven't done in the last couple weeks? Well, let me see what pops up here. Yeah, the Samsungs are, are really nice. Uh, they're going to, I, you know, the problem is, is they're not really, like, nobody really talks about them for the battery. I mean, LG makes a fantastic battery. Uh, Samsung makes a great battery. But there's a lot of these new odd companies coming out with batteries. I saw a battery uh, somebody hit me up with the other day. It was a 30 amp 26650 at 5100 ma. Well, listen, when the eye stick hits fast, hey Tiger, somebody wants to know if the eye stick will hit fast. Tiger will literally shoot a nuclear missile to New Jersey if I take that eye stick. Oh man. He's going to fight for that. You bet on it. <laughs> See, yes, people don't realize this. Me and, me and Tiger on occasion do get into scuffles on what, who's running what deal. And we, arm wrestle, but we arm wrestle over it, but I fight dirty. Yeah, she she gives me a little... Uh, she, she flip, No, I'm not going to go there. Um, <laughs> uh, she, uh, yeah, she just plays dirty. Oh, yeah, the ice, stick, the ice sticks are fantastic. Oh, yeah. There are all kinds of wind. And, I, you know, I, I'm a broken record for saying it, but pair it with a Nautilus Mini, you've yeah, got right a hell of a vape. Oh, that's the setup right there. The setup, the, the wind setup, is, it just it lives in my hand. I know in my hand it's, it's, it's a baby mod, but... Perfect for a new vapor, perfect for somebody who wants to move up from stick batteries, perfect for somebody who wants something easy and just no-brainer to take with them out of the house. Mine travels with me a lot. Um, it's all kinds of wind. Yeah, now if you're looking for an eye stick, there's a company, Big Bad Boom just dropped it in the, in the, in the chat. If you're looking for an eye stick, he's not going to ship these for another 10 days, but they're only $29.99 with free shipping if you live in the United States. You can't go wrong. You just can't. Twenty nine ninety nine for this mod? Free shipping? I mean, only thing that could be better is it comes with a hooker. I mean, really, it's 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 a it's a crazy uh, crazy deal. All right. Well, I did find one more, and this one is a good uh, you know sort of backup or for new people or something like that. So I'll share that. <clears throat> does it come with the cord? Does it what? No, somebody wants to know. Does it come to come with the cord? Oh. If you don't have a micro USB cord, you don't live in the 21st century. <laughs> uh, some do, some don't. Yeah, uh, some of the packages include a, a cable. But yeah, they're they're easily obtainable, and you probably have one for your phone or something. Uh, anyway, these are a 2200 ma eco style battery now they're a little thicker they're a little girthier but a nice finish on them and they're not like a crazy long length they've they've made them wider instead of taller but for under 10 bucks it's it's a nice one to have around in case of emergency is what i would think about this 
Um, you'll notice they have, you know, two of most of the colors available. That's because that little sort of smoky, vapey pattern on it is available in either gold or silver in all the colors, except yellow. Yellow is just yellow. You don't, you don't get no options with yellow. <laughs> right. So, uh, but yeah, 945 on those. And, you know, another great way to start a new person too, you know, very, very little investment in, but they've got a 2200 mAh battery now running an Ego. <laughs> If you run that down in a day, you're hardcore, then yeah, you better better get something bigger. You know, I that, that reminds me of a post. Go on, Tiger. Mm, no, that's, I'm good. Go right ahead. Um, let me just see if I can find it first. Uh, I need to find this because it's... Uh oh, if I jump up, it's because I'm hearing coughing in the next room that somebody's sick. So I'll be back if I disappear. No problem. Uh, I have, I, you know, I, I don't want to trump what you what you did, mm -hmm. but it reminds me of a deal that um, it was called It's Huge. Remember this? Oh, kind of. Did you run these? Just let me... See. No, no, I didn't run these ones. These were the 4500 Ma Eco Battery. <laughs> now, it's, the price... That's you a don't... handful. It looks like a bike grip. It, yeah, it is a handful bike grip. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> Are we still talking about... Um, this, is, this is basically, I think, what they did is they put a 26650 inside that body. I mean that's what it looks like for me. Now it's a twenty six. It's twenty two bucks. Don't don't get me wrong. Wait, Country Pam, you got one today? <laughs> and if you did, what is it? Is it huge? How huge is it? Oh Twice the size of a 30 mil bottle. All right, so it's, it's, is it 30 mils like... All right, so it's two 30 mils high. <laughs> now, this is also very... This is also a selectable... Oh, okay, about the size of a 60 mil. I, oh, okay, okay. So 60 mils around. Okay. So uh, now this is a sol what we call a selectable voltage uh, battery, which means you doesn't you can't spin it. You, you, you tap the, the, the button a few times, and it'll go to different voltage levels. I think it goes to like 3.3 .3 volts all the way up to 4.5 volts or what have you. Okay. Uh, it's uh, but it's a monster. Uh, this would last a vapor, I would say, four days. I mean, it's it just it's just I mean it, it, it's almost ridiculous looking. But um, at the same time, you know, this is this is not for everybody. But for somebody who enjoys, who wants a lot of battery life, um, this isn't the this isn't a this isn't a portable ego. Okay, you're gonna not gonna take this with you. You're, this is a home, you know, next to the computer uh, ego battery. But there's people out there that that just love the ego style, but they don't. But they they're moving away from them because they they don't have a lot of battery life. This is just fucking monster. <laughs> It's the Ron Jeremy of batteries. I mean, it's the Ron Jeremy of egos. Man. <laughs> what about the email? Hmm. The email on uh, Fast Tech, I believe. I think we already talked about the email because I uh, actually remember talking about it, holding it in my hand, and uh, yeah, we did that one already. <laughs> so we've about 15 minutes left in the show. What you got for us, guys? You got any questions for us? You want to know anything? You want to know what Tiger had for dinner tonight? <laughs> oh, that's unexciting. Just 
checking out chat here. Somebody puts in there, this is a voop proof mod. <laughs> I, I don't understand. <laughs> I do not understand. <clears throat> Big Bam, I did part of what I was going to do. The power supply still hasn't been changed out, but uh, it seems like things are under control right now. I'll. I'll, I'll still try to get that. <laughs> Philfish has a question for you, Joe. He says, how did you start this deal gig, Joe? Oh, that's a long story. Uh, basically, if you really want to know, it's only about, it's, it's really not that long. I can, I can cut it down. Um, it was a um, it was a uh, vapor in a hangout. I was um, now me and Tiger were in a Google Hangout, right? Well, when I first started vaping, um, I used to go into these Google Hangouts all the time and just talk to people like a regular vapor. And for some reason, um, I always kind of knew where all the cheap stuff was because I'd always I'm an investigator. Anytime I um, anytime I, t I buy something. I always investigate for the cheapest prices, but I think most of us do that. Uh, you know, if you're going to buy a TV, you're going to want to spend the least you can, right? So uh, when I when I bought my first Ego Kit, it cost me $135. And, uh, you know, at the time, you know, $135, well, still is, but, you know, $135 for an Ego Kit, it's, it's a lot of money. Uh, and vaping back then was a lot more price control going. Uh, so if you went to one vendor, he may only be a dollar or two cheaper than another vendor. So uh, people would always ask me, you know, where do I get a cheap box of bulk cartomizers? Where can I get, a, you know, good drip tips? Uh, you know, where's the cheapest juice? Stuff like that. And um, the, um, the uh, person who uh, told me, he's like, you know, you know, all these things that you know, you should really blog about it. So I did. And um, I started a blog, and, you know, it was just really for friends. It was called Vapor Joe's. But Vapor Joe's wasn't going to be Vapor Joe's. Originally, it was going to be called Joey Vapes, which is kind of funny. But uh, I stuck with Vapor Joe's because it sounds like Trader Joe's, so it has that kind of ring to it. And uh, and it just started growing, you know. People start talking, and then, you know, I'd do one or two posts a day, and then, you know, I'd push it to three. And then all of a sudden... It turned into where people kind of needed me and wanted me to, to update every day, and then uh, the rest is history. I just kept doing it, doing it, doing it. It got more popular and popular and popular. Oh yeah, if you want to, oh, yeah. oh that's right too. Um, also. Um, Big Man Boom put an interview with me up at, uh, he just put in there for the TVA show. They interviewed me, wanted to know, like, a little bit about my life and how Vapor Joe started and all of this stuff. So, uh, if you, a lot of inside information there. It's a, lot, it's a really good interview. It's the first kind of, uh, it's the first real interview I've had. It wasn't just about vaping. Hey, Tiger, hey, you should be interviewed one day by a certain uh, something. Like uh, oh, uh. I'm suddenly speechless. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just reading another question in the chat. Um, Joe, if you want to address this, I don't know. Sure. There used to be a reviewer named Vapor Joe, but he later changed his name to Joe Zombie. Were you responsible for that? Now, uh, there's a problem with the question itself, because it says he later changed his name. So I think he's responsible for it. But anyway, you want to field that one? No. I think he was like, did you threaten him? <laughs> no, I, I, there, there was a Vapor Joe who was around for, uh, was around for a while, uh, that I know, uh, but, uh, no, there's a, there's a, there's other, there's other Vapor Joes out there. I just, I keep my name together on purpose. Um, like I don't do Vapor Space Joe. It's always Vapor Joe. Just so not to confuse myself with the other Vapor Joes, because there are a couple of other ones out there. Hey, Mooch said, let's do it. I know he's asking me how Monday looks. I, Monday is 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 too soon, too soon, but uh, and quite possibly a crazy day. But uh, I, I I can't I can't say no to you guys. 
Yeah, let me let me send you the questions to ask her though, Mooch. Oh no no. <laughs> I'm only kidding, I'm only kidding. Mooch needs no help. Uh, for those of you who haven't heard that interview with Vapor Joe, uh, the guys over at TVA did a great job. Um, Mooch is a is a is a fabulous interviewer. Uh, that's why I'm I'm a little bit like a little bit uh, trepidatious even because he's he's got a way of pulling information out of people. But uh, it was it was a very well done interview. Kudos to you guys. And uh, as well as I know Vapor Joe, I felt like I got to know him better and learned a few things. So it was uh, really enjoyable to listen to. Uh, the kind, Blair, gentler Vapor Joe. There we go. Yeah, it, it was a, it was a good interview because it was the only real interview I really ever had. I mean, it was it was. Uh, I mean, I've had a, a bunch of interviews, but never this kind of an interview. It was more of like, tell me about your childhood. Tell me about how, you know how. You, you know, who 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 are you, and what makes you tick? Stuff like that, and that I liked. You know, because a lot of it's like, what's your favorite mod? What kind of juice do you like? You know, that gets fucking old quick. You know, but Tiger, you're gonna do great. Whenever you do it, it's gonna be a fantastic, uh, fantastic interview. Well, as long as Mooch promises to go easy, <laughs> to be gentle with him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I've been watching the chat for a while now, and uh, all I'm going to say is, gentlemen, take it outside. <laughs> Who's fighting? Oh, I don't know, I see somebody, I, all I'm seeing is I'm 51 and did an engineering for Boeing for 25 years, so back off. I don't know. Did Dundale start a fight? Is there, is there fighting in this no, show? No, no. Dun Dundale didn't start a fight. Oh, one, one just broke out. Oh, what are they fighting about? Um, extreme vaping. We'll just leave it there. Oh, okay. Four hundred twenty amps. I want to vape four hundred twenty amps. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, guys, calm down now. Calm down. So does anybody have any other questions? No? Or are we still going to be talking about this 420 amp thing all night? <laughs> well, somebody's calling your name, Tiger. Do I love lamp? <laughs> I have only one word. Potato. What is lamp? Tiger. Um, I'm trying, I'm struggling, Joe. This is a pop culture reference, and I know I know this one, but I'm trying to remember where it appeared, and I am coming up blank. I, I remember the line, but... Well, that's no fun. I know. Oh, anger, man. See, I, you know, I, I Will Ferrell, I'm not a fan of Will Ferrell. <laughs> I'm not. Thank you. Now I gotta rewatch it and figure out where it is because I'm, I'm still kind of. He was good in Elf. That's the only movie with him I like. Oh, my son, my son enjoys that one. <laughs> and uh, when he was, um, he was Mustafa in, um, in Austin Powers. So Tiger, we're almost at 43. Are we going to... I mean, uh, the 43. <laughs> uh, we're almost at 4.3... Um, 43 million, rather. Almost. Almost. We're almost there. So, um... Dean. Probably in the next... Uh, well, maybe in the next few days. So we may... We may... I don't know if I take off two days in a week. I don't, I don't think I can do that. I think you'd strain something. <laughs> I am not going there. I am not going there. That's not what I was getting at, but... <laughs> TVA show cold. He went there. <laughs> I didn't do it. He's, Mooch is going to be like, so Tiger, Joe said he was drained something. What is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing.
my nose is absolutely killing me. This, this, whatever you juice I'm vaping has dried out my face. Oh no. Babe, what am I vaping? This is called, uh, Mythos Nectar of the Gods. This is Hades. Man. Yeah, no, my nose isn't killing me. It's just cold. I've I've caught my son's cold as well, and uh, it's not getting me as bad. But my nose has been cold. My toes and fingers have been like ice all day. Oh, poor baby. I keep my house at 68 degrees. You're just gonna hate it here. Yeah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm I'm importing you here. No, I'm gonna have and to buy you like a. If the keeps breaking, it's just the nature of those things. <laughs> no, we're gonna have to give you one of those like um, uh, we'll get you a uh, with, like long johns onesie. <laughs> oh, that'll be. And we'll just get with, with 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 the butt flap. Nice. Oh, I'll be two weeks. I hope that you're able to take it soon. It wears on you. It's only been a couple days for me, and today I'm already like dragging my butt around. Battery heated socks, Tiger. There you go. Merrick, my I, I actually bought a pair of those once. I, I have no idea what are became those, of those. Are those fucking real? Wait, those are real? Oh, absolutely for real. They've got little battery pockets in the sides and they've got little wires that run through them and they warm all up. They're they're the awesome. <laughs> what? <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. But the, uh, wait a minute, time out. How do you control the temperature and all of this shit? Or well, is it just to have a certain... I, I, if I recall correctly, mine just had like a little click switch uh, for, right, you know, I high low. I gotta, I gotta look this shit up. I, I, I lost them in, in one of my moves over the last many years. Oh, I think they're fucking real. But, oh. it, but it almost... <laughs> but it almost looks like your socks have a little colostomy bag on the side. <laughs> to wear loose pants and be comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this look like they have like a little, yeah. <laughs> but I used to turn them up to high and then wear my slippers over them to hold all that heat in because they just weren't enough. Hey, Tiger Thumper 70 says he's got a battery power jock strap. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll bet that's uh, an exciting experience. <laughs> I know, is it, uh, I'm sure it has nothing to do with warmth. No. <laughs> I'm just in, you know, I'm thinking about this way too much. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> what the battery powder jock strap? Yeah, because you know a jock strap is rather restricting and keeps everything kind of pointing in a certain direction. And about I don't know, I just think the whole thing sounds like a very poorly executed idea. <laughs> well, maybe. But... <laughs> Cut a hole in the middle in case something comes up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe Valkyrie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta keep the boys cool. You can't keep them hot. <laughs> oh dear. See, this is what happens when we don't have enough content. We end up here. <laughs> no, this is what happens when we don't have enough vape mail. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Better keep those orders rolling out, eh? Put a PC fan on it. Got it. <laughs> Is that a 26650 in your jock strap? Are you happy to see me? Oh, Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, you guys rock. Yeah. Oh, and congratulations for Babe Strunk being number one. Oh, Canada. Oh, yeah. While we're here, I mean, we got a few minutes left. Yeah, we do. Uh, there's, a, there's a couple of social... We never, we never talk about our social networks at all. Uh, and we should. Uh, 
Done Deal Facebook group, very important. Um, me and Tiger post both our deals. It's kind of like a dual, um, uh, a place where, you know, deals and sales. There's a bunch of deals and sales places, but it's a place for show information and me and Tiger both post both of our uh, deals in there. So if you want to follow us on Done Deal uh, or uh, check out the um, check out the deals we have in there. Uh, also, um, head over to Vaping Underground. Um, if you guys aren't there, uh, Vaping Underground is a uh, brand new up and coming forum. It's doing extremely well. We're probably in the number two position in terms of forums. Um, a lot of fun. Uh, if if you if you if you're not there, uh, you're, you're stupid. And that's a perfect advertisement for Vaping Underground because that's how we roll there. It's just, if you're not there, you're stupid. <laughs> it's not like, please join, you'll have a good time, or it's for the community. No, it's if you're not there, you're stupid. Um, wow. There's, you know, there's... Go on, Tiger. I was just going to say the membership are enjoying the, the, the uh, values that we founded the forum on and, and those being of course freedom of speech and you know a, a lot of self-moderation and you know the trust that we're all adults and we can uh you know behave accordingly and you know what it's working it's funny too because uh one person said you know how you tell the difference between something like ecf and vaping underground if you go to our rule section there's one post and it's about five lines <laughs> and that's it that's the rules It's the best set of rules for any forum ever. <laughs> okay, I am just checking that link. Oh man! <laughs> a stealth bag. It's like, it's like a, it's like a padded mummy suit. <laughs> I don't know. Like this thing is padding on it. It's like a onesie. It's like a sleeping bag you wear. Oh my gosh. I'll need like a whole like closet full of those and that's all you'll see me in. It's funny though. There's a there's one picture of everybody like they, they're going through pictures and there's one picture of a guy sitting there with a roaring fire wearing this fucking thing with a fucking guitar. Really? Really? Everybody's just sitting there strumming away in their whatever you call it. Ridiculous. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cozy. <laughs> Alright guys, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, Valkyrie, that's pretty much rule one. Don't be a dick. Okay. See, there it is. Hey, big man, we pulled it out. Look at, look at that picture. I mean, really? Everybody's just hanging out, having a beer. <laughs> like, he's playing with like a guitar and a roaring fire. And everybody just looks so comfortable. And look warm. at how they look like they look like a bunch of fucking like I don't know uh, like cosmonauts. <laughs> Put a helmet on them. I swear to God, they look like a space. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Mooch? is absolutely right. There's so little fighting on on the underground. It's it's a joke. Yeah. And I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, when when less when there's less rules, people regulate themselves. Yep. Alrighty. Well, we have uh, reached and passed the bottom of the hour. If anybody has any other questions, we'll try to fill them real quick. And otherwise, I think uh, we'll wind down. That's right. Tiger's gonna go buy her colossally big socks now. <laughs> and a silk bag. <laughs> He's like, I'm ready, Joe. I'm ready to come over now. <laughs> <laughs> to be wearing that midsummer in my house. Oh, Mooch yep. did have a question. When is TVN going to be on Mod Envy again? Who? TVN. Oh, TVA. T oh. TVA, you mean? Sorry, yes, that is what I mean. Virus oh, if you want to come on next week, you're more than welcome to. I know Freeze wanted to talk about Vape Slam, uh, but we didn't do we didn't do it uh, we didn't do it this week. Uh, Mod Envy because Nitro is at at uh, con. Uh, at con. I was supposed to be at con, but uh, Freeze. See Tiger, you don't know this, but Freeze. Um, he jinxed me. 
Oh. Because when we were at, when we were at, um, we were at uh, Vape Mania, he was telling me about his massively painful gout attack, and I was like, ah, I never get those anymore. <laughs> sounds, sounds more like you jinxed yourself. <laughs> no, he brought it up. He brought it up. He jinxed me, damn it. And Mooch, keep bothering. <laughs> keep bothering her to get her on. <laughs> Oh, based on my blender, he's now cre created a, a new a new uh, acronym possibility. The totally vaping nuisances. <laughs> 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 All right, sorry. I'll learn the acronym. All right, guys. Well, we're going to jet out of here. Um, me and Tiger have a few things we have to go over um, go over tomorrow's deal. So we will see you next week, uh, next week for another edition of Done Deal, hopefully with more vaping. Hopefully with more vaping. <laughs> All righty. Have a good night, everybody. We'll see you later.